What are we doing? I, I'm still, I'm never gonna get over this. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna talk about this. This is the glove box detail, monthly box, full transparency mode. I always tell you this, but I mean it. The first box I had got um, a couple days ago now, they're very quick to replace it, but I live in an area in the Northeast if you look at the map and you focus on the map, it, uh, it legitimately looks like an armpit. New Jersey looks like the armpit of the country. And uh, for good reason, it sucks here, okay? Uh, especially during winter, fall not as much. Spring and summer, pretty cool. Summer is a little bit toasty, but not bad, right? But winter never bothered me until I lost weight. I didn't realize that I was insulated like a uh, polar bear, so I'm cold and everything around me is cold and my vehicle's dirty and cold. So we've got cold, we've got dirty, we've got a stinky armpit in New Jersey. And what ended up happening to my last box, uh, and again, transparency mode, I know what's in here. So I'm going to show you and I'm going to kind of like, I guess, put my acting skills. No, I can't do that. I can't lie. I was going to say, oh, I'm going to pretend like I don't know what's in here. I know what's in here. Uh, I'm going to tell you. There's something inside of this that exploded. It was of no fault to the manufacturer or glove box detail. Uh, it was just temperature. It got way too cold. It exploded. And I don't know what the hell happened, but the stench that came from it was out of control. I don't know if that has to do with the cold or the product so we're gonna find that out that should be interesting but I wanted to show you because I love this box I love opening this box let's get to it um, I did not open this box yet so if this is explosion part two you'll know firsthand again excuse this this right here chaos okay uh, I don't know I don't know I don't know what to tell you Oh, here's something. I don't know if you can see this, but this is one of the things in the box. So now I'm going to have two of them. This is like a cheat code, right? I purposely paid the weather to be so cold so I could get a replacement box. See, I'm on top of my stuff, okay? So first things first, we do not have an explosion. Get stepping. So I don't know what I want to show you first. All right, I'm going to show you what exploded. And then we're going to figure it out. And because it's cold out, it's probably going to be all right to do a taste test, but we don't know yet. This, can I, can I, I have to like unfocus on me. Here we go. Is this, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Okay. So it's going to trap. Look at this. No, nope, no, nope, it's not going to do it. It doesn't have eyeballs, but let me see if I can subject loss. Stop, stop your stuff. Stop your nonsense. All right, here we go. This is Viper Energy. Now, I didn't know much about this. I didn't know this existed uh, until I started digging a few minutes ago. Actually, I was sitting on the couch. I took off today. I went to the Giants game last night. I'm not a Giants fan, but they were playing the Fudge Packers, and I can't stand Green Bay because I'm a Bears fan, unfortunately. I'll never brag about that team, but I still love them. It's a love-hate relationship. So I went to the game, and it was a night game, Monday night game. So here I am, me and my business partner were like, you know what, we work a lot, let's just take off today. And I don't mind, I'm all about it today. Today, I don't take off often. But while I'm off, I'm going to get caught up with some stuff. I'm going to clean a little bit, and I'm going to tell you. I sat down for a second, I was talking with the fellas at Glove Box, and I looked at a post that they made. A couple things I'm kind of concerned about, and I'm waiting for a message back, but I might not know what that message back is by the time this video ends. So I'm kind of concerned a little bit. Yeah, I don't have an answer. I don't have an answer. So this may or may not affect my opinion on this, okay? Viper Energy makes the Viper chair. If you uh, are in the detailing world, you've probably seen it. It's this sick looking chair. It's pricey, but it's well-made. It's got quality materials. It just looks awesome. Uh, I would have picked one up if I had a place to store it. 
Uh, maybe with the next house, I'll have some sort of place to put that because that would be uh, extremely incredible to have one of those chairs. I just don't have a, a good place. To, well, I have possibly a place to store, but I don't want to waste extra space and let a chair like that go to waste. But those people that made that chair, they made an energy drink. Now, if you know about me from Instagram, you know I'm kind of an aficionado on energy drinks. I love them. I actually have one here. This flavor tastes like poo poo caca. I like the ghost, the Celsius or hit or miss. Some of them taste like complete dog crap. So I'm extremely picky with flavors. I'm extremely picky with companies. And um, I've tried almost all of them. I've tried almost all of them. I know it's a horrible thing to drink this much. And at one point I was on two or three a day. Uh, I don't recommend that. Don't do that. I'm, I've since stopped that dust. So we're gonna open this up. I wanna give this a sniff test. I'm hoping to God that it wasn't this that smelt that way because I could tell you right now when I, I, I recorded this small clip, I don't know if I can show it because I feel bad if it is the smell of this, but I am honest, I will be that honest guy. If you watch my previous YouTube videos, there was a video during the scandemic where I bought hand sanitizer from chemical guys and the smell, the, the putrid stench that came from that goddamn package and that product almost made me reconsider my whole life. I, I didn't know what to do. I, I time traveled to a place where I could feel safe. That was the only time in my life I've ever wanted a safe zone. And it was from that stench. I didn't know what happened. Um, it was terrible. I got vibes from that smell. Maybe not as bad, but I don't know if it was the cardboard mixed with this. It says Patriot Red. I didn't feel very patriotic when I was smelling what was coming out of that box. I might sneak that clip in here because I recorded myself. I, I sent a private message to the glove box team and I, I, I didn't realize that I was going to almost vomit when I was recording it. But uh, yeah, so let me insert that. It, you got to tell me, somebody's got to tell me, did you actually drink this? Did somebody drink this? You drank this? Did you try? <coughs> it stinks. <coughs> I, you didn't drink this, right? Did you guys try this? Did you? Oh, is that where it broke? Holy shit. Ho! Oh. <coughs> it's on my head. Now that you get an idea of what that smelled like, let's go into the rest of this package. So one of the things that I was excited about is that they were coming out with a new refill flavor. Not a flavor. Don't eat this or drink this. Can I track my face again? All right, we're back on the ugly mug. So if you know about their systems, they have like their little refill cartridges and it's pretty cool because you could take a bottle and you basically just drop one of these things in here after you fill it up with water and when you put the, the capity doo die in, you screw it down and you get to watch it go like sperm coming out of the, of the shaft of Rooney and it's awesome. I love the idea that you're only buying this and you don't need to keep buying this. It is a saver on bottles and it's pretty cool and I really like their bottles because they're square and you could fit more of them technically next to each other. They stack better, they're not these round like that. So all in all, solid. Every product I've used from them out of this line has been amazing including their interior. Their interior cleaner is probably one of my top, top interior cleaners. So this just came out and unfortunately I can't try it at the moment but this is a tire and wheel cleaner you're not going to be able to focus on me. I don't know. You're not going to be able to see anything. That's the downfall of this pocket three, right? Pocket pain in my ass. But this is going to be exciting to try and good value. You just fill it up with water and pop this, pop this, okay? Pop this and pop that and you pop something. I don't know what we're popping, but we're going to be popping some. Yes. Okay. Two reasons why I like this. I have these, I believe in gray and these are like coating removal towels. And they're numbered. So say you go through and you flip and you know you're on side one and you remove the coating and you go to side two and then you flip over, you do three, four, and you go to the other side, you can keep counting. Five, six, seven, eight. So you got eight sides. And if you're like me and you're scatterbrained out of your mind for everything, you watch my videos, I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place right now. This video is all over the place. So these towels are pretty good. Auto fiber is known to have quality. Microfiber, 
I usually only buy from them and the rag company. So, and the fact that this is green goes with my vehicle. Can't go wrong with that. And obviously, since that's a coating removal towel, there's gotta be some sort of a coating and here it is. This is a Armor Detail Supply glass coating, which I'm actually excited about. I've got quite a few products from uh, Armor and I actually just bought a few more things. So I got Adapt, I've got their tire cleaner right here. I've got Amplify, I've got Tire Plus. These are all things that just came. Can I use them? No, I can't use them right now because like I said, it's colder than a horse heart outside and I can't do anything out there. But this is exciting. This product, this company. I don't smell the smell yet, so I'm kind of fishy. Fishy is a good term to describe that actually. I'm kind of concerned that it is the contents of that can. We're gonna find out and I'm gonna be completely transparent. Always transparent, always transparent, okay? This is the uh, glass coating and it's got the whole pack, okay? It tells you what to do. It's got the applicator and it looks like it's kind of like a, like an auto fiber applicator, like a, 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 a thin saver, what is it called? The, fav the fav flavor saver. That's what my dad used to call his mustache. Completely inappropriate and off topic, but he did call it a flavor saver. Use your imagination, Google it, do what you want. Actually, don't Google it. I don't want to get banned. And then we got this and this. These are a dime a dozen, but this is pretty cool. Uh, Wizards, Mystic Nano Wax, Slick Wax, Super Gloss, Durable Protection, Safe on All Paints. Um, I'm not a huge wax guy as much as I used to be. And then when I am, for some reason with wax, uh, I wasn't really big into liquid wax. I was bigger into paste wax, more old school stuff. I like the application of it. I've got quite a few really good quality paste wax. But when it came to liquid wax, I kind of always leaned more towards sealants and coatings than this. Um, I will try to find a way to give it a shot. It smells like freaking cherries and stuff. This is pretty good. Um, yeah, there's always gonna be maybe like a product here or there in these boxes that I'm just not about just because I'm picky. Not many people were as picky as me, so it is what it is. And here we go. This is what I was talking about over here. This is the air freshener from Aerotags. I've seen this company in many an ad on my Instagram. So this is actually kind of cool that they made their own. I believe you could put your own logo and smell. So I've been having this for a couple days in a garage and I could tell you right now, my garage is not the biggest garage. It is a two car garage, but for some reason it's like a scale down length and height wise because it is gigantic stupid eye beam chilling here. Um, so it's a little bit smaller, but I could walk in. I've had this just chilling on this side. I could smell it across the room. So this is potent and it is lasting. This is coming up on almost a week now that this has been in here. This one right here. Hi, there it is. So that's been chilling there. So there's no need to open this at the moment. It's, look at it, it's juicy and creamy. There's lots of liquid going on in here. I bet you that thing just freaked out because it's trying to focus on me and it couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. All right, we've got two more things in here. We've got the menu. Oh, look at that, how freaking flippity doo dog cute. I gotta show you this, hold on. How do I, un how do I undo that? Here we go. Can I, can I show you? I don't know what the hell's going on. Here we go. Aww. Merry Christmas, ho, 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 and we're back, there we go. So yeah, tells you exactly what's going on. Viper Energy Drink, from the team behind the world's best shop chairs. See, if I would've looked at this the first time, I would've knew that. Get that out of here. And then this is the last thing, which is kinda cool, cause I do have a little bit of a collection brew in here of uh, keychains. Coach Kemi. AWH, so, look, I don't mean to sound stupid, but is this a product or are they trying to say, aw, like, like, what is it? I don't know. You never know. Because I have the FU, the scent by Koch, Koch, Crotch Kemi. <laughs> I have the FU, which doesn't smell like FU. Unless FU smelled like that, then I guess it would be a little bit more of a pleasurable thing. You're like, oh, F yourself. And you're like, ah, I did that. I smelled it and it smells decent. Uh, all right, now the moment we're all waiting for here. 25 calories. It's gluten-free and it's vegan. Could that be why it stinks? I don't know. Let me tell you, too. I saw that these guys are from Wisconsin. 
This is why I messaged them. I need to know, are they Packers fans? When I messaged, I believe it was Brad, I don't know who was on the, the account at the time at Govbox, but he said that he thinks they're Jets fans. That would be better, not the best, but that would be better than Packers fans. Sorry to you Packers fans. The Giants beat you. I'm not a Giants fan either, but I went to the game and I watched the Packers lose, so I was extremely ecstatic about that, driving home at 11-something, and I was frigid last night in the 30s. It was goddamn cold, but it was worth it to watch the fudge packs go down. Um, please, dear God, I heard that this is good because there's no crash. It's only got 150 uh, of caffeine, so this is an extremely light caffeine it says it's got energy and focus you know all the typical stuff that they throw in the cans my main thing is going to be cool 150 that's better than these monsters and these other ones that are popping into 200 a pop right so i could have two of these for 300 or three of those for six or three of those for four and these two 300 we got numbers popping all over does it really matter no if this tastes like shit nothing matters so we're gonna know please don't smell bad It's not as bad as the box. The box was putrid. If you saw that, you saw the clip. You saw it. I, I gagged. I dry heaved. I almost up chucked all over the place. Please don't suck. All right, all right. I'll give it to him. I burped and still didn't taste like shit. I mean, that's also because I don't taste like shit. My insides are not shit anymore. They used to be. Well, it was 400 pounds. There was a lot of shit in there, but now it's not as much shit. It's not bad. It's like, uh, it's like a fruit punch that doesn't punch you in the balls. It's not super sugary. Like, you, know, you ever get these energy drinks, you drink something and it's just so sweet. It makes your teeth hurt. This doesn't have that vibe. And it's not super carbonated. Some other energy drinks, they're like really carbonated and I take a sip and I'm like, I immediately get the hiccups, and then I'm like, this sucks, and I want to throw it out the window, but I'm afraid to hit a kitten or a, a small child, so you can't chuck one of these out the window. And then you litter. Captain Planet didn't like that. I grew up with Captain Planet. You know, rings out, you know, you know, you don't do that. So this is not bad. It's got a lot of vitamins in there, magnesium and zincs and all this other. Cool. I mean, three sips in, I don't hate it. It doesn't taste like shit, so kudos. You made a cool chair, and the drink's good. I don't know if this is their only flavor. But I do, I do enjoy the can. Do you want to see the can a little bit better? Is it going to focus? I have no idea. Something, maybe. It's pretty cool. It's got the soldiers with the flag. And I dig the theme. Proudly made in the United States. I dig it. I do. I do. I dig it. Oh, it's got EAAs. Does it have BCAAs? I don't know. These are all things I was Googling when I was working out. I stopped working out a little bit. I ended up getting lazy. I got to figure that out. That's that's uh, it's slightly embarrassing, but you know, a lot of things embarrass me in life, and I just keep on chugging. I embarrass myself. I don't need anybody to embarrass me. I do that very, very well. I am a professional embarrassment to myself. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. This is a cool box. I'm excited. We got 2024 around the corner. I am so pumped. I can't wait to show you the whole year worth of boxes coming. This is a must have if you wanna have exposure to certain things and you never know. I don't know, like I said, my experience the first time you saw in that little clip that I don't know what the hell happened. It doesn't smell like that now, but it, like I, it could have been temperature, weather related, something stunk like a skunk's butthole, like radiating stench off of a skunk's rotting butt. I don't know what it was, but it's okay. We got wizard slick wax. We got armor uh, glass. We're chilling with a new pod system that I will be trying, tire and wheel cleaner. And it's a concentrate, obviously. It gets to do the squirty squirt. And uh, I will be finishing this can. He said that you don't crash. I don't crash because I'm so immune to caffeine. I could probably mainline about 1,000 milligrams right now and not even know. But uh, anyway, yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're an OCD OG, you're freaking awesome and I appreciate you. We're gonna try to limp our asses through winter videos if I can. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna do my best. I've got some ideas 
and I got the therapy and the detail videos coming so that it's uh, not as boring. And then once we can get back into detailing, we'll get back into detailing. It is what it is. I'll see you guys in the next one.